So it's the FA Cup semi-final this weekend. Man United playing Spurs technically at home for them. It's at Wembley. Man United coming into this off the back of a 2-0 win at Bournemouth. Mourinho made plenty of changes for that team. And I think he's going to make plenty more for this one. This is who I think Mourinho should start in the FA Cup semi. Now, in goal, David De Gea. I think he's probably going to have a busy game against Spurs. They will create chances. Spurs are very good going forward and obviously have Harry Kane. So hopefully, De Gea, I think he should wear the captain's armband again like he did against Bournemouth. Great to see him wear the captain's armband and hopefully he has a blinder against Spurs. Now, at my defence, I'm going to go for Valencia on the right-hand side with Bay and Smalling in the middle. And I'm going to go Ashley Young on the left. Now, I personally wouldn't start Ashley Young, but Mourinho loves a player that he can trust. And an FA Cup semi is a game that Mourinho will not want to lose. And that's why he's going to start Ashley Young. Luke Shaw played great against Bournemouth. I think he did really, really well. But Ashley Young, for me, is more dependable as a defender because he doesn't really go forward that much. And that's why I think Mourinho will start him. Eric Bay, I hope he's fit to play. Best centre-back. And Chris Smalling scored in three consecutive away games. Chris Smalling is playing well at the moment. Give him praise where it's due. Give him criticism where it's due. That's what I do. And I think he deserves to start this game alongside, hopefully, Eric Bayer. Valencia in at right back. He got a rest against Bournemouth. And we saw last year that Valencia did tail off towards the tail end of the season because he was fatigued. But it looks like he's OK at the moment. And that rest against Bournemouth would have done him the world of good. Now, this is the most important part of the team. Mourinho needs to play in midfield three like we did against City. Herrera, Matic and Pogba. A little bit further forward. Herrera, man of the match for me against Bournemouth. Really ran that midfield basically on his own. And cover for Darmian so much at right back because he was caught out of position about four or five times. Playing him and Matic in a midfield two with Pogba just in front. It allows Matic and Herrera to protect the defence. Allows Herrera to come forward a little bit to feed Pogba. Now we need to make sure that Pogba receives the ball past the halfway line. I don't want to see Pogba dropping too deep to get the ball. I want to see Pogba concentrating on creating the attacks and going forward. If you do that, I think we'll see the second half of City, that sort of performance from Popper. We need that at Wembley. We need him to have a blinder. And for a front three, I've gone for Sanchez on the left, Lukaku through the middle. Mm. Probably Lingard on the right-hand side. Lingard, we all know, loves scoring at Wembley, so fingers crossed he does it against Spurs again. And I think we'll need his work rate against Spurs. That's why I'm going to start him in the team over someone like Juan Mata. And Alexis Sanchez, rested against Bournemouth. Would you start him? Let me know in the comments. For me, I think you do. You know, Sanchez, for his you know, pretty muted performances at the start. He's been very good in his last few games. Contributed to like four out of the last five goals, I think. Anyway, he's contributed to a lot in the last few games. And I want to see that from Sanchez at Wembley. And obviously starting up front, Romelu Lukaku now, I think 27 goals for the campaign, his best ever return. And we've still got plenty of games left. He can finish the season on 30 plus goals. And for a player who so many have said he's not been that good, that'll be a hell of a debut season for Lukaku. And for me, Lukaku, he seems to be more of a rounded player now. Ever since he went on that little drought where he didn't score for five or six games, since he's come back from that, it seems like Lukaku's all-round play has improved. You know, he's got six or seven assists this season as well, so it's not just Lukaku finishing. He's becoming a much better team player. And that's just a player growing and becoming a better individual. And that's what Lukaku's done at United this season. Spurs, it's going to be tough. For me, Spurs need this more than United need this. And I think that's why it's going to be hard. At least not the fact that we're playing at Wembley, where Spurs have played all season long. So fingers crossed United don't concede after four or five fucking seconds again like we did when we lost there in the Premier League this season. But it's the FA Cup semi. Mourinho will want silverware because if we don't, it's an extremely disappointing season. The FA Cup doesn't change whether or not it's a disappointing season. But for Mourinho, it gives him that silverware, which he and his ego wants. But Spurs, they will want it more as well. How confident are you feeling ahead of the FA Cup semi-final? Let me know in the comments below. Quick mention, Arsene Wenger stepping down as Arsenal manager after 22 years. For me, that rivalry between United and Arsenal was my favourite ever at United. They're my favourite Premier League memories. You have Keane and Vieira, Keown against Van Nistelrooy. So many memories. United getting rid of the Invincibles run. You know, there are so many moments and memories from that era where United and Arsenal were just bitter, bitter rivals. So thanks for that, Arsene. That's what I need to say. But anyway, drop a like on the video if you're new. Subscribe to United People's TV if you're new as well. Take it easy.